Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm really excited to uh, show you this comparison video of the Wizard C2 Pro and the Wizard C2 Pro Max. A few uh, months ago I already showed you the C2 Pro which is a really nice multi-purpose flashlight and um, this one is pretty much the same. Uh, expect for two points uh, we have 4000 lumens uh, compared to 2300 lumens and we have two months of runtime compared to 200 days of runtime so uh, what's the difference this one runs with a 21700 battery however this one uses an 18650 battery so I'm really happy that I have the chance to Review this light because uh, I use headlights uh, quite often during my underground explorations and um, I'm always happy if the flashlight uses a bigger battery so that I don't need to change the batteries that often. So, I would say we take this one aside, later on we will have a slight comparison and I also will uh, compare the two lights outdoors so that you can have a nice uh, idea of the warm white light from the C2 Pro and the cool white light from the C2 Pro Max. So I think after this video it will be clear for you which light from the two you will buy. So for the packaging it's uh, pretty much the same as the other one. You have a nice uh, cardboard box with lots of uh, information printed on the outside so you nearly don't need to read the manual uh, once you studied this uh, packaging because they give you a lot of information. So here we have the manual. We have a little adapter so that you can also use 18650 batteries inside the flashlight. That's pretty cool. We have the magnetic charging if you don't want to take out the battery out of the flashlight to charge and then we have a quite sturdy handlebar mount for bicycles or other uh, vehicles really nice quality head strap it's the same as for the c2 pro uh, except that the holder here is a little bit wi wider as the flashlight is also slightly bigger. Then we have two spare O-rings and a clip. And then we have the beast itself. It looks a little bit like a C2 Pro on steroids. It's really, really big. However, the beam distance is slightly uh, shorter than with this one, but that's due to the LED. As you can see, there's a massive LED sitting behind the tear optics. So this one just produces a little less throw than the LED of the C2 Pro standard version. So the light is anodized in the nice matte black finish like we know it from uh, Army Tech. It is really really sturdy so I uh, used this one already on some explores and except from being a little bit dusty it uh, has no scratches whatsoever so it's really 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 good quality so we have the engravings as you can see white light warm light and then serial number all the engravings are really sharp really nicely done and then they indicate that there's the magnetic charger and of course the base is magnetic so you can attach it to magnetic metal surfaces. Threads run smoothly. Big plated spring in the back. Nice 5000 milliamp 
Armitech battery. They have high quality batteries, so I use mine since quite a while and they still work like a charm. I will uh, put a little bit light inside so you can see the electronics in the hat. And that's pretty much it, what you can disassemble on this light, but that's also quite good because then you don't have a problem with uh, waterproofness, as you can see. They use two O-rings, so these lights are really waterproof. Nice, cool white LED compared to the warm LED of the C2 Pro. I prefer warm light, but there's more people that prefer white light and I thought it would be cool to do a comparison of the two with the two different light colors so that the video has more utility for lots of people out there. So let's have a closer look at the manual. It comes in English, German and a few other languages. Uh, in this manual they don't give you uh, any technical information. There's a little printed on the box but not uh, all of it. Uh, here they only tell you how to access the general or advanced type. So the light has two different modes. The general type is uh, easier with uh, six modes and the advanced uh, modes of uh, uh, ten modes. I'm not going into the details of these operations as I have explained it uh, detailfully in the video of the C2 Pro. So uh, I will put the link underneath the video in the comments in the video description so that you can uh, have a look at the video if you want to understand the complete functions of this light. So while I will uh, go over the technical details with you, I want to show you the charging possibility of this flashlight. You need to pay attention if the flashlight is completely uh, closed and is working. If you connect the light, the red LED is blinking. This means you need to loosen the tail cap a quarter of a turn. Then the green indicator is blinking. It is checking if uh, it is checking the voltage. Here the battery is already full. Otherwise uh, the red uh, light would be solid red until the battery is charged and then switch over to green. If uh, there's a problem with your power bank or uh, charger, then the light will uh, show uh, in orange here and blink, so you know, okay, either I need to clean my contacts or you know that your power bank is not delivering enough current to charge the battery. So here it's full, then we don't need to charge it. I can take this away. So I would like to tell you the different uh, technical specifications of this light. They use uh, Cree XHP 70.2 in this flashlight with uh, 6500 Kelvin. If you buy the warm white, it's uh, around 4500 Kelvin, so a very nice warm uh, light. The head diameter of this light has uh, 34.5 millimeters, body diameter is 23.6 millimeters and the overall length is 121.5 millimeters. The weight without the battery is 79 grams and it's waterproof according to the standard of IP68. They say that you can uh, put it in water up to a depth of uh, 10 meters, also safe falling from heights of 10 meters, so you can really uh, push hard on this light. And then uh, that's pretty much for the technical details that they deliver. Um, if you want to have all the different information, uh, I will put them underneath the video. If you buy the light and you need to check something, it's always recommended to go on their website. I don't know why they don't uh, put all in a decent manual, but uh, somehow 
they don't do it. So here we can have a closer look at the different uh, output modes. So Turbo 2 has 4000 lumen for 15 seconds and then it dims down to 900 lumen. So that's really if you need to burst out something uh, really bright and then it will just dim down. Turbo 2, 1300 lumen for 12 minutes, then you get 900 lumen. Main, 450 lumen, main 2, 150 lumen, main 1, 45 lumen. Firefly with 4.6, that's Firefly 2, Firefly 1 with 0 0.5. 35 lumen so that is really nice because uh, with this light or with this output mode you can use the flashlight for two months so if you're in an emergency situation or so uh, you can really uh, go on for a long while i also use this as a as a night light because the 0 0.35 lumen are really uh, really dark but still enough to see something if you need to get up uh, during the night and then you have a strobe mode with one hertz with 4000 lumen after 10 minutes it dim dims down and you have a strobe 2 with 150 lumen also one hertz for 90 minutes so that's pretty much it for the technical specifications and so on for this light I think we got all covered. I will now just uh, show you how to install the light in the head strap. So you have the two notches here. Need to put away the silicon strap. And then you can just clip it in. This is already quite sturdy. If you want an extra security, you just flip over the big O-ring here and then it cannot fall out. So I will fully charge up the battery, check the output modes in my Ulbricht ball and then we will head out to the field and I will compare it to the small brother and then you can make up your decision which light is the best for you. So see you outside. So here we are outside with the Armitech Wizard C2 Pro in the warm white version, really nice warm white. And here we have the C2 Pro Max in the cool white. I measured the different output modes in my Ulbricht ball. They indicate the highest mode with 4000 lumen. I measured 3700 lumen, then 1300 lumen, where I measured 1150 lumen. The 450 lumen mode I measured with 366 lumen, and the 150 lumen mode with 131. For the ultra low or the moon mode, which is indicated with 0 0.35 lumen, I measured 0 0.43 lumen. So the lumen indications are quite accurate. Um, it's a really nice cool white. So uh, yeah, it's the warm white again. So it's really up to you which light you prefer. I like both but I prefer the warm white so I hope this uh, video gave you a little clarity about the differences between the two lights if you still have questions don't hesitate to put them in the comment section and as always I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up see you soon guys bye bye